this solo journey, we're heading into Shoreline and I'm going to show you how a solo goes about completing the entire Spartor questline. Starting out with the Spartor part 1, we need to kill 7 scavs with a 12 gauge shotgun and they all need to be headshots. So let's get into the fun. Check the safe. A vase. Okay. You can make it up to me with a GPU. Not so lucky, are we? I do think scavs should spawn around here. Might be worth waiting in here a little bit. Just heard a bush. What the hell just happened? Was that even a scav or a PMC? That was, he looked like a PMC. Although that was a headshot, so that's a pretty good start. Is that... Where's his head? I don't want to mess this up. I can't shoot through that, can I? Okay. I don't know what quest we just completed, but they look like a headshot to me. Oh, there's another. Alright. Is that three? We don't really have many to go. I think I started with two, so... That is not the worst start. Let's have a look. Or did he... There we go. One more. This might be the smoothest run I've ever done of this quest, to be honest with you. I reckon if we run back this way, we'll find one more scav and we can literally extract at part the shoreline. I hear the scav. Need to make sure that this is a headshot. That's it. That's all of it done. So now, maybe we try and get a bit of loot, and then we'll go path to shoreline. Two toolboxes. Okay. I think that is everything we need to leave now. Yeah, let's call that a raid. Easy does it. Inventory full of loot, and that is Spartor Part 1 done. With Spartor Part 1 finished, my next mission was Spartor Part 2, which had us going to the health resort to mark the helicopter and the road next to the helicopter. But of course, we got an awful spawn and we had a lot of ground to cover till we could get there. I think that was a scab. That's my guess, at least. Okay, I believe one of the markers is literally right here. It's not letting me plant it though. There's one. And then we may as well try and plant the second one. And then we're gonna run in here and wait. I'm actually gonna go prone to make sure I don't die. <laughs> okay, that's both of them done. I just heard a scav get aggroed actually, but at what? I think we're gonna try and move in to the east wing. Hopefully we can rush in here without anybody giving us a headache. Room 110, which I don't know where that is. 112, is that this? 110 is just here. So we're just gonna risk it for a biscuit to get in here. Let's shut this door and do a bit of looting. 
Okay, I don't know where the Ledex spawns in this room, actually. So I need to make sure I don't miss it if it is here, because I don't have a Ledex yet. But honestly, at the moment, I don't really see too much. We've got a few meds on the ground. Literally, as I said that, it said meds. That's pretty funny. CMS, IFAC. Let's replace the CMS because it has more uses. Was there anything else that I missed here? Nothing in here. I don't think the Ledex is here either. So I'm going to go up to second floor. 219. This is one of the rooms where you can get a Ledex, but it looks like we have a clock. Okay. Maybe we can go into the West Wing next. It's going to be pretty dangerous though, hey? And I need to survive an extract from this raid to get this quest done. I see someone. There's no way. Oh man, he tanked my headshot. I literally saw him flinch and tank it. That's so unlucky. With AP 6.3. Unless I hit him in the throat, but... Yeah. That's a damn shame. Kind of wanted to go into the other side, but I don't know if it's worth it anymore. That's pretty good loot. Let's... We can work with that. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. What we're gonna try to do is make a dash for it out this way. Hope that guy's not up there watching us. What the hell? That guy tanked so much. I can't believe I died there. I want to see how much damage I did to him. Wow. I think we did like 380 damage to him. I wouldn't be surprised if he died afterwards. That's so unlucky. I guess that's what I get for filling half my mag with rip rounds and only the top half with AP 6.3. Because probably he would have died if it was all filled with AP 6.3. And now we need to do another raid and survive, which is super annoying. After this death, I did another shoreline raid. Nothing really happened, but I did survive. So I was able to finish Spartor Part 2. And you can see here that Spartor Part 3 just needs us to hand in a bunch of items. I had most of them, but then I had to do a scav run and I managed to find the last few items that I needed on a scav run on reserve. So that's Part 3 done. And now we're moving on to Part 4. For Spartor Part 4, we needed to go back to the resort and go in either sides in the east and west wing in room 220 to locate the generator. So that's what we did. Okay, room 220. That's what we need to find. Check in here quickly, because I think... Aletix can spawn here sometimes, but I guess obviously today is not that day. Now this should be one of them, okay? So we have just done the east side. So I guess our next big mission is to get across to the other side and find the other generator. I don't think going across there is our best way. It looks like a scav, so... We might just try and get into here. Let's try and run through here, hope for the best. Okay. Just heard something swivel up top, which gives me a little bit of comfort, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not what we wanted. We've got to fix our stomach. Whoa! 
Ебак, кепка ебаная! Ебак, ну ты парика! Okay, let's use that scav as some time to met up. It's underneath us. Is he? Maybe we'll leave him there. This guy had an RFB, he might actually take his armor. Okay, let's do our quest quickly. Just need to find room 220. Okay, hope for the best here. Okay, so we've done the quest. Now let's check what this guy had. We need to probably take his armor as well, because ours is incredibly beat up. I'm gonna go prone on him here. Let's have a look. Better CMS, that's a good start. And then we can take all of these. I wonder if I should try and hide my armor somewhere. Might not be worth it, eh? I'll just dump it here. Hopefully nobody finds that. Definitely gonna take his gun, and then we'll see if he did any looting. Did a little bit of looting, but nothing too crazy. Wait, where is it? Here it is. Okay. Quickly check this one, because you never know. We might find something very nice. 218. Let's have a look in here. I think these are all pretty good keys that I have, so, you know, it's probably worth looking. Okay, our bag is officially full, so now we need to start thinking about how we can get the hell out of here. I think our best bet might actually be going to path the shoreline, to be honest with you. I'm gonna pop an SJ6, and we are going to run. Oh god. Okay. Sort of panicked there. I thought that was a player for a second, so... <laughs> I sort of sprayed and prayed. Okay. That's a pretty bloody good haul, if you ask me, to get out with. After that incredibly successful raid, we're now on Spartor Part 5. And what I had to do here was simply go and grab the key, which was next to the mountain pass or the dome, if that's what you want to call it. Probably should have used that guy's RFB, so we have more than just the hollow site, but... Decided to sell it, and just rock the UMP again. Okay. So, we've got a sniper scav aggroed onto us, which is not ideal. Ah, okay, I see. Alright, so he is dead, I guess. Okay, got the key. Now we need to cross this bridge and start running up this way. We've got the sniper scab shooting us in the back, but we should be able to run away from him just fine. At least of my concerns, to be honest. Okay, do we have vehicle up? Vehicle's up. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is just wait here for one more minute, and then simply extract and just get out with that key. Call it a win, but I don't want to get a run through. Okay, so we've waited seven minutes. I'm gonna hand in my money and just literally wait right here. So that's Spartor part five done. 
that is a very easy fence wrap. Okay, so we can turn this key in. And now we have Spartor part 6, which is very easy. Just turn in 8,000. Simple as that. And now we're on to the last Spartor, Spartor part 7. So for this one, we're going to need a few items to find. And as you can see, these are just sort of just things that you find whilst you're playing the game. So I'm probably going to end this video here. I will just find these on scav runs and as I play. But if you guys enjoyed that chill style video of me just questing, please let me know. And make sure you guys subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot.